Next then is hypotheses testing on the geometric distribution. So again, it's a very similar process to the binomial and the Poisson, but there is one particular uh, thing that we need to be careful of and look out for, and that is that unlike the parameters P um, of a binomial and lambda of a Poisson, when the P value for a geometric distribution increases, the mean of the distribution decreases. So as P increases, the expected value decreases. Uh, so when you set up the hypotheses to see if the parameter of a geometric has increased, you need to look to see if the test statistic falls in the lower end of the distribution. So in other words, the alternative hypotheses is kind of like the other way around um, as to the way you'd set it up for the um, these two previous distributions. Okay, we'll explain that again when we get to the example, but it's something to look out for. So the notes mention these formulas, um, but you can be largely dependent on your calculator to work out your geometric probabilities where required. Okay, so here's our geometric hypotheses test scenario. Company claims one in eight of the packets of their crisps contain a prize ticket. Lee decides to test his claim he buys a packet because each day until he finds a prize ticket, there's your binomial feature. Um, here's your evidence. He finds uh, a prize ticket for the first time on the 24th day, test at the 5% significance level. So we set up our geometric with our probability of 1 8 we set up our null hypotheses of p is equal to 1 8th. We are testing to see whether the company is overstating the proportion. So therefore, the counter argument to our null hypotheses is p is less than 1 8th. Now, the thing to be very careful of here is in all of the hypotheses we've done so far, the direction of that inequality and the direction of that inequality have been the same. That's the other way round for the geometric distribution because um, if um, as P increases, the expected value decreases and vice versa. Okay, so for geometric distribution, um, if we're testing less than an eighth, uh, if it's less than an eighth, that would cause the expected value uh, to go up. So therefore we are looking at um, the probability of greater than or equal to our evidence, okay? This or even further away from what we would expect. Okay, so just be careful with making sure you are aware for a geometric distribution, the direction of those signs are different. Probability x is greater than or equal to 24 is required. After that, it's the same procedure, so you get your probability value, you compare your probability value to the significance level. On this occasion, it's less than, so you would reject H0 and then conclude in the context of the question as per usual.